It's your boy J. Michael with another V I D E O. Today, I'm about to surprise the wifey with an Impala 2020 fully loaded. Yeah, I'm going to take her to see it right now. So, I'll be back with the surprise and let y'all see it. Yes. I just bought this for my wifey. Y'all see it? 2020 Impala, black on black for my wifey. Oh, J. Michael ain't got no money and I bought it from Enterprise and it's not no rental. Y'all see it, y'all see it. Look at it, look at the price, look at the price. Yeah, just got this for the wifey. Here go the wifey. I'm finna show y'all her surprise. Come on. See my wifey? You see your new car? Gotta go in that grass? Yeah, come on. Y'all see my wifey? See that? Y'all see her new car? Look at her. Look at my baby. Look at this. Look at this. a bow or something. Well, it was a bow on it. This is the wifey car, just got it. 2020 Impala. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You like oh, it, baby? Down you like it, baby? Watching in no huh? sipping on gin and juice. Well, how you feel about me getting rid of your BMW and getting you this one? She's like, look, y'all. She ain't like that. Charcoal. Charcoal did his thing for six years. But she she really mad because I got both rid of her, both her cars, her 300 and the BMW. Charcoal did his thing though. But look at her. There was no, there was, oh, I ain't touching it yet. There was no excuse for the 300. Yeah, well. Okay, yes it was, yes it was. Well so, look, yeah. she, look what she got now though, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. I'm gonna get some booty tonight. No. See that, y'all? Get her surprised. <laughs> no Duke. <laughs> no Duke. <laughs> uh-uh. Well, do you like it? Yeah, I love it. Okay. Love it, love it, love it, Stand love by, it. stand by your car. Let me take a picture. Hold on. Get it together. And it's only one year old, y'all. It's a 2020. One year old. Yep. Okay, look at that. See that? Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Yeah. And y'all see the miles on it? 63,000 miles. That's gravy. It is. My baby. Yeah. I deserve it. Yeah, she I do. Deserve she it. deserve more than that too. So, give me a kiss. Oh. Mm. Hey, you the restaurant. <laughs> me too. Yep, y'all see her getting out that Impala. Yeah, we just made it home. We had went out of town and got it. Look at her getting out. She tired, hand sleep. Impala, see it? Impala. I yeah. get this stuff. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. We ain't playing. We ain't playing. See that? Yeah, look at Bing Bing. Darion. Look at him. He think he's blinging with his hustle suit on. They got the Impala. They go to Jag right there in the front. They go to Jag right there in the front. Here go to Cherokee. Yeah. This 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 the new addition to the family. The new addition to the family. This the new addition to the family. New addition to the family. Hi, 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 hi. It's your boy J. Michael with another V-I-D-E. 
lot of people was in my inbox. They want me to react to Mr. Craft, the end. So we gonna see what the end is about. So go on and hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, leave a comment if y'all want J. Michael to speak on son, son, with the beef stew. No, sir, no, sir. So let's get into this. Yes, let's get into this. On the Carver family, you must turn on the bell with the light rating symbol. That way, you, you, and you will get the notifications. Also, guys, as this is, I think, video number two or number three. I am making another announcement. The day before Thanksgiving, I will be doing a cash app giveaway on the Carver family. $2,000 cash app. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel. Be, uh, keep the notifications on and leave a comment. Why? If you don't have the notifications on, you won't be notified that I'm live. If you uh, don't leave a comment, I can't pick your name if I don't know who you are. And don't, I know a lot of people are off work for Thanksgiving. I mean, the day before Thanksgiving. You guys are probably already probably doing what's going on based off person ain't got arrested for putting their hands on a woman don't mean they don't put their hands on women. I'm not saying he did, but hey, that's what he said, but we know otherwise. But just because a woman don't call the cops and you don't get arrested don't mean you don't put your hand on a woman because you got a lot of women that get their hands put on and they don't call the cops, but that don't mean they don't get beat up. Right or wrong. The internet and yesterday was the first video that I made on a prior family as far as addressing one of the situations because I said legally I couldn't address the other ones and at this very moment I, I still can't exactly address it um, <clears throat> as far as the woman being pregnant um, I did make a video yesterday about that saying that it was fake it was I gotta real, react to that. and I believe today it was confirmed you know, there were so many people making videos, so many people about Damien Cryer got a baby on the way, and now that it's been confirmed that it was fake, you're probably not gonna see those same people making videos saying that. Now me, I made a video about it, but I said if or if and not, but I, I left a lot of comments saying I think it was fake, but I still reacted on it because my fans wanted to 
my opinion on that situation, but I still felt it was fake. That's why I said, if it is or if it's not. And then I said, I hope it was his so his fans can be like, oh, because they, they don't, they, they think this dude is the golden goose. Hey, you know Jay Michael gonna speak when he wrong. Or wrong, because some people were siding with this woman, make going back and forth with messages, Damien Cryer is this, Damien Cryer is that. But them saying people would not come back out here right now in these streets and say we were wrong. I'm a beast. I'm gonna say I was wrong, but see, the thing is with me, I said if or if it's not. And then I left a comment on his community post saying I think it was fake. J. Michael gonna stand on his player, so I ain't gonna run, plow. Nah, never that. Cause I'm the rig in there. I'm gonna stand on my words, play, play. Oh, that was one thing that's been taken care of. Um, however, because of the allegations, and my name was put out there like that by this person, it's not over with. Um, because the stuff should have never been put out there about me if it wasn't true. When you come to the internet about someone, you know, you have to know what you're doing. That's why I don't move certain ways. You're not gonna hear me talking crazy about somebody in one of my videos and mentioning their name. That is the most craziest thing that you could ever do. The thing is, people be who they want to be on this internet all the time. I see that all the time. But see, one thing about J. Michael, J. Michael gonna speak them facts. I ain't gonna bring nobody name up if it ain't facts. I ain't gonna speak on nobody if it ain't facts. And that's real. Y'all see what I'm saying? So when I speak about somebody and I say their name, 90% of that is facts. I ain't gonna say their name. See, a lot of people, they put that mask on. And they be who they want to be on this thing. You know, he, he doing a good job with that broom and that dustpan trying to sweep his image up. That's good. I mean, hey, he got a nice platform. So, hey, I do the same thing, too, to try to clean my image up. I'm just keeping it 100. Um, but when you put an allegation out there like that and you put someone's name in that title, and, you know, you make the allegations of saying that this person is the father. This is Brett. Brett doesn't need to rely on gut instinct to guess what his users want. Because Brett uses hot jar to... ...your child. And you got all these people believing that that is strictly, strictly bad. So the person probably would not speak up about it again. But it's definitely not over with. Because it's something that I'm not going to tolerate. I don't usually speak up, and I know because I don't speak up, a lot of people think, oh, well, Mr. Crock. See, now that's the thing right there. I'm not going to tolerate that. It's not over. When you get on that celebrity status, people going to lie. People going to make up things all the time because you want that celebrity status now. So... You think that's going to be the only one that's going to sit there and make up lies about you, play, play? You got another thing coming. So for you to try to take legal actions because somebody tried to make up something, if you know it ain't true, leave it alone, player. You know it ain't true. People go say, people, how many, as you say, how many times people get on here and say things that you say ain't true? Huh? So you're going to take actions against everybody that say something falsely about you? Huh? You a semi-celebrity now. Your platform study growing. So it ain't even over. That's just the that's just the start. You ain't seen nothing if your page keep growing, play play. So for you to get in your feelings cause somebody lied on you, hey, it is what it is. I got in my feelings, but I apologize to the lady. Because she was talking about my wife. I wasn't feeling that. But you on a bigger platform than me. So your troubles ain't even started yet, man. Just trust what I'm telling you. 
Your troubles ain't started. So if I was you, I'd sweep that up under the rug. You cleaning it up now? Clean it up? Leave it alone? Move on to the next thing. But your pride getting in the way now because, hey, this girl said, oh, she was pregnant by me, man. It's true. Um, I ain't taking that, man. Nah, pal. Come on now. That don't still make you not a part-time daddy. Yeah, how he must be scared. You know, that has nothing to do with being a coward or being scared. That has something to do with learning how to move when things happen. You know, you have to learn how to come up with a solution instead of running to the internet and lashing out about it. So, while we are over here, There's some behind the scenes stuff still going on that you guys don't know about. Phone calls and stuff, DMs, people reaching out to Latoya. And even after I still fell back and took a chill back and, you know, looking and seeing what's going on, there's people still reaching out to Latoya, still coming at her about me, still trying to expose me behind the scenes, and it's ridiculous. So, I'm gonna put this right on the forefront. Let's talk about Latoya for a minute. Latoya came into my life, we came into each other's life a few months back. Um, I don't have the exact correct date down pat, because um, <clears throat> I'm gonna say about five months. We came into each other's life. You know, there was literally almost love at first sight. I know some people don't believe in that anymore, but it's That's true. true. It's That's true. true. It's true, man. It was it was like love at first sight, you know, especially for me, because you know I've been through a lot, and I'm not gonna come over here and play victim because you best to believe I'm not a victim. Latoya, she's the victim. She's the victim. But we're gonna get into that. You know, me and Latoya, we share like a lot of secrets. You know, I tell her like a lot of my um, personal life experiences of things that I. No. Uh, I don't agree with Latoya being the victim. I will say she she got in involved in some she got in the middle of something that was already brewing, that was already cooking in the beef stew. She didn't get involved in something, but I don't think she's the victim. Now, if she is the victim, she made herself the victim by putting herself in the mix. Now, she just would have sat back in the scenes and sat on the bench and chilled and let that man handle his business like a man and told her, sit down, I'm going to handle this. But she can't be the victim when she put herself in the mix. Yeah, true enough, I know you're going to have your man back. True enough, I know you're going to speak up on your man. But when you when you come into something that's already brewing, that's already in the beast through cooking... That's that man's responsibility to handle that on his own. You sit back. You take the back seat on this one. Long as they ain't come in your face, cross that bubble, you ain't had nothing to do with it. Because people talk every day. Ain't, ain't, ain't that's what you said on one video? Sticks and stones may break your bones, but names ain't never hurt you. You said that out your mouth on one of them videos. So if people talking, let them talk. Because in all actuality, they really don't know you. So they just speculating and just assuming, right? So you should have took the back burner on that one and let that man be that man. Things that happened to me, things that I've been through, things that I've experienced, both good and bad. But I think I might have told her a lot about a lot of bad stuff that happened to me. You know, in, in a relationship, Especially one as new as a man that us. Okay, you say the bad stuff that happened to you. What about the bad stuff you did to people? What about the bad stuff you did to individuals? Come on now. When you cleaning out the closet, you clean out the closet. Play, play. Um, as new as a man that us. You know, he's supposed to come into your relationship having trust for one another. Thanks. You're supposed to have trust for one another because without Thanks. trust, you have nothing. And if you start a relationship off, 
uh, breaking trust, you know, um, that's bad. Because it puts in a mind of that person, if it's starting off like this already, who knows what's going to happen six months down the line or five more months down the line. You know, is, it, is, you know, is this person going to break my trust again? Is this person going to, you know, say stuff about me behind my back that I told this person in secrecy? You know, we have two choices in life. We can either say, okay, this person messed up bad. They messed up bad. Let me give them another chance and keep an eye on them and make them prove themselves that they will never do this again. The second choice is you can say, no, I'm not going to tolerate this disrespect and betrayal and move on with your life. <clears throat> so basically, during Amanda Latoya's conversations, she shared a lot of things with me, a lot of hurtful things. And Squarespace lets you run your brand like a business with e-commerce and more. You know, now, people do make mistakes. Do I deserve, do I feel he deserve another chance? Yeah. Because, again, people do vent to certain people and don't know. They vent to people thinking they can trust this person. But he should have knew this individual. He should have knew because he dealt with that individual. Just like that individual dealt with him. So that individual knew they couldn't, um, what you call it, confide in him. But do he deserve another chance? Yeah. Do he got to prove himself? Yeah. Is this one step on here proving itself? Yeah. But, but is it time out for the games? Hell yeah. Do you really love this woman? You got to show this woman, play, play. Again, you 51 years old, play, play. You a grown, grown man. You're not a teenager no more, man. You made this mistake. Now it's time to own up to it like you're doing. And it's time to show this girl that this is who you want to be with. This is who you want to marry. This is who you want to spend the rest of your life with. This is who you want to build the rest of this empire with. This is what you got to do, man. Me, I really don't know what to say, say for myself. I did some really crazy, well, I said some stuff, man, but I shouldn't have said it. I did the worst portrayal that you could do to someone when you call yourself in love with them. I broke the trust that the toy had for me. Now, he ain't lying about that. That's the ultimate besides cheating. When you go, when you say you love this person and you go behind this person back and you talk about this person to your ex and you say the personal stuff to your ex, Oh yeah, that's a betrayal. How I know? Cause I did it. And if y'all don't believe me, this man that's talking on this thing, he know I did it because he was talking to my ex, not sleeping with my ex or, you know, trying to match to my ex, but she was telling him everything I was saying. And he was going back telling Mama Selena. And then my ex was telling Mama Selena. So I was getting it from both ends. Oh yeah, that's facts. That man know, cause that man was in it. Him, my ex and him was in cahoots to sabotage. Well, I can't even say they sabotaged me cause my dumb butt did the dumb stuff to feed them the information. So it was on me. I can't even say they did. They did what they were supposed to do. She was hurt cause I left her for another woman. He was hurt because her wife, because his wife left him for another man. So both of them was hurt. So of course they gonna sabotage the plan. You see what I'm saying? And I can't even say it's on them. That falls on me for doing that ignorant, stupid stuff. So I feel that brother pain. I know exactly how that brother feel. 
And brother, trust and believe, bro. You got a lot, a lot of ladders, a lot of hurdles, a lot of buildings, a lot of windows to climb through and get over, bro. Because that's the ultimate besides cheating. I broke the trust that she had for me. Um, I messed this relationship up. It's over with. So this is not a series. Um, this is not a skit. This is 100% real. I have stepped back for the last week. Um, it's not over. Why I say it's not over? Because there's a God. If you change your ways and you put it in God's hand and you show that woman and you don't give up on that woman, you prove to that woman that you messed up and that you changed and you're willing to change and you're willing to step up and hold up like you're doing Put it in God's hand. And if it's meant, God gonna open that door and put that girl back in your in back in your presence. Because you say she believed in God. Everybody deserves another chance. But remember, uh, true enough, it's fresh. Four, five months, six months, seven months. It's fresh. I understand that. But true love is true love if y'all say it's true love. So you don't give up. Because that brother messed up. If you love that brother, you fight for that brother. You don't take him out the doghouse just yet. But you don't give up on him. Everybody deserve another chance. Did they come over here and, and, and say stuff about him? S try to sabotage his name? Yeah, I'm one of them. I'm one of them. Because see, me and his beef is different than what everybody else doing. But I'm one of the ones that talks about him. But me and his beef is different. It ain't got nothing to do with that petty stuff they doing. But if you watching this Latoya, give him another chance. Work with him. Put him on probation or something. Put him on love high. Put him on love arrests. But don't give up on him. Because I can see it in his face. He's hurt. He's sad. He know he messed up. So if you're seeing this. Put him on love arrest. Put him on relationship probation. And looking at the pain in the toy's eyes. Um with the uh, allegations coming out about me being abusive, beating up women. To a woman popping up on the internet scene that said that she's pregnant by me. To a video being made about Latoya saying that she can't have kids. You know, um, Latoya is a very good woman. She's a very now. We know she's a good woman. We can see that. But you opened up that Pandora's box when you put that post up, saying Mr. Mucker put his hands on Erica. You opened that Pandora's box. Yeah, you took the post down, but you started that beef. And that beef came back with some extra gravy and mashed potatoes. True, she a good woman. But see, the thing is, we all know the baby thing is fake. Let's, we passed that. But, to be a man and stand on your feet? Yeah, baby. 
Everybody, I ain't gonna say everybody, but everybody got a past. In my past, when I was young, I did, you know, touch women, put my hands on them, did that, you know, but I don't do that no more. I'm grown. I done growed out of that. You got to keep it 100, man. You got to keep it 100. I didn't cut the thing off because I see the hurt in his face. Latoya Cactus Head Crier, you made a mistake. She felt she made a mistake by choosing you. And she felt she made a mistake because you just betrayed her by telling, telling something personal that she shared with you. So she feel like if I told you something personal like this and then you go to your baby mama and you share it with her, how can I trust you again? How can I even, how can you even prove to me that I can trust you again? It's a lot of making up to do. But I think y'all can beat it. I think y'all can get past it. But Mr. Cry, you gotta quit being a play play. You gotta quit being this, this, this sometimey dude. You gotta quit being somebody you not. And be yourself. Because you let this money, you let this fame get to you. And I know that for a fact. You gotta stop changing for the worse and change for the better. You let your son Money get to your head. You let this fame get to your head. You let this money get to your head. You know, you a man. You was married for 13 years. You were single. So you felt free. So when you feel free and you making money, you like, shoo, I'm finna be wild. Can't nobody tell me nothing. I got my own house. I got my own car. I'm making my own money. So, shoo, I don't care. I'm gonna talk to this female. I'm gonna talk to this female. Hey, because it's me. I'm gonna do me. And then you found that one you fell in love with, player. Yeah, you had a baby. But you should have used a condom. But you found this one you fell in love with. Now you looking like, man, how did I mess this up? You messed it up because you being somebody you not. You messed it up because you not being real with yourself. You messed it up because you believe in your own lies. That's how you messed it up. You have to be real every time you wake up in the mirror in the morning and look in that mirror. You got to be real with that person that's looking back at you. If you can't be real with that person, you can't be real with nobody else. I don't think you will have told you over with. If it is, a, hey, you can't fault nobody but yourself. But I think Latoya deserved to give you another chance. I think she should put you on love arrest and relationship probation. I think she should do that. Because I can see it in her eyes that she like you. But she's hurt. Because she shares some personal, personal, personal. And that person blunted it out. That's a herder, player. That's a herder. You see what I'm saying? That's something you shouldn't have did. But can it be worked through? I think it can. Because I did the same thing. And Mama Selena's still here. So it can be done. Is I still in the doghouse? Yeah. Why you think I just went and bought her that new car? Because I'm still in the doghouse, player. So I'm doing everything I can to make sure my woman don't leave because I know that's a good woman. 
I bows down because I know that's a good woman and I ain't trying to lose that woman for my mishaps, for me sharing personal stuff with my ex. Oh yeah, I did it too, player, and you know that firsthand. But you gotta stop it, man. You gotta stop faking the funk. Get that key, get that skeleton key, open that closet, sit down and clean it out. Be real with Latoya. Stop playing and be real. The truth, the truth ain't always pleasant but people need to hear it. That's just like with you. When I talk on here, people bash me in my comments because they say I'm hating, I'm doing this, but I'm not hating. That's just real. Be honest, man. Be truthful with yourself. Because easy as come, easy as it can go. And you see that. You just found the perfect woman for you. And you fumbled that ball. See what you did? With all those pranks? Oh, me and Latoya broke up. Oh, me and Latoya was cheating. Me and this and this and this and this and that. You spoke that in existence. You was bragging too much. You was flossing your money too much. And look what happened. Again, man. You gotta be real with that person you see in that mirror. Because if you can't be real with that person that you're looking at in that mirror, how you gonna be real with anybody else? God sees all. I'm not perfect, I make mistakes, but I keep God in the forefront. He's the head of my life. You put that girl in this mix. You put that girl in that beef stew. And Erica came with the seasoning salts. You cut that oven on, you cut them eyes on when you put Mr. Mucker out there. You did that. Now you gotta fix it. I'm finna go to this other reaction. I ain't done. J. Michael out.